My first ARCP was done in Niigata, Japan with Kazuo Ogoshi. I recently hung up my duodenoscope. I did my last ARCP in May 2011, almost exactly 40 years after my first. So I've been looking back a little bit at the early days. The first attempts at cannulation were actually done in the United States by a surgical group who used a, uh, an adapted gastroscope. They weren't very successful, but that was the, the, the start. There were two Japanese pioneers, Itaro Oi at Tokyo Women's Medical College. He was working with the Machida Company and, uh, and Dr. Ogoshi uh, in Niigata. Dr. Oi uh, presented ERCP, who actually called it ECPG, Endoscopic Cholangiopancreatography, uh, at a, an international meeting in 1969. It caused an absolute uproar because it was such a revolution in medicine, gastroenterology. At that time there were no scans of any sort. And the idea that you could actually get into the pancreas or get into the bile duct was quite extraordinary. And fortunately for me, when I was training in London, my, my boss heard this presentation and, and told me to get myself off to Japan in a hurry. And I was fortunate to go to work with Kazuo Ogoshi, who was the other pioneer in Niigata on the western coast of Japan. Uh, he was working with the Olympus Corporation to develop a long side viewing duodenoscope. And I was fortunate enough to be allowed to spend two weeks there with him to show that in fact it was indeed possible to get into the pancreas and into the bile duct. It was actually quite difficult at that time. The field of view, the angle of view was quite small, but we succeeded. My career might have been stopped in its tracks while in Negata because Dr. Agoshi's boss, Professor Hara, was a very keen golfer and he knew I liked to play golf, so every day he used to come to the endoscopy unit and say, we go play golf. And I had to say, well, I'm very sorry, Professor, but actually I want to be right here with this endoscopic stuff, if you don't mind. So my first ERCP was actually done on May the 3rd, 1971. Um, the scope is in what we learned to call the Japanese position, a very long scope. We hadn't yet learned to straighten out the scope. Well, there was an awful lot of things we hadn't learned at that stage. But I came back to England and was fortunate enough to have the equipment and some help at St. Thomas's Hospital. And we quickly accumulated some significant experience, which I published in the British journal The Lancet in January 1972, along with some colleagues. And that really set me off on, on a career which has been very much focused on pancreatic and biliary medicine and the RCP ever since. That was a revolution, being able to get into the bile duct and pancreas, but of course uh, it was soon added to very dramatically by the therapeutic applications, cutting the sphincter of Odi, reported in 1974 almost simultaneously from Keiji Kawai in Japan and Meinhard Klassen and Ludwig Demling in Germany and they were the first people to describe removing a stone from the bile duct endoscopically, which again was an extraordinary change at a time when it had to be done otherwise by open surgery, which was really dangerous. The next big therapeutic breakthrough was the description of stenting the bile duct, and Nipsohendra was the person who came up with that idea, and that's stayed with us ever since, it's been very successful. Now we're in 2012, and I did my last DRCP last May uh, at our annual meeting near Charleston, the so-called beach meeting. We did it live and I'm making a video of a recording of that event which will be available hopefully soon. Those of you who are still doing ERCP, do it well. Good luck.